Hello, welcome back to Evil Land. Let's not let's not play the game. Let's play Double Twin. Yeah, this is the card game that's been looted this entire time. Uh, so let's look look at the rules. Player starts with five cards drop ran from his deck. Blah blah. Okay, this is boring. Let's actually play it, cause uh, obviously the name is a joke on Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII, and well. It's just Triple Triad, that's all there is to say. And if you haven't played Triple Triad, I'll put it like this. All the cards have a certain number on their sides, and if you place a card with a number higher than a card of the opponent, you'll flip it over. And the one with the most cards of their color at the end wins. And you gotta be a bit careful uh, if you're if you have a bunch of cards with low numbers, they show because they can cause a chain reaction if uh, if your cards are placed wrong. Let's see. Um, spider go here. Obviously, you stand a better chance you have more cards, since luckily I got the seed there, which is pretty powerful. And luckily, this is easy, so it won't be that hard. And there you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And you unlock different levels, medium, hard, and champion. I believe you... I believe beating these decks does count for a completion percentage. I believe so, since I finished a playthrough and said, Huh, 99 point something percent completion rate. Oh, I didn't beat the champion deck. That must be it. I don't know. Let's just play medium. We aren't... We don't... We are missing some cards. But hopefully it won't cause too much of a problem. Hey, it's me. Put that down right there. I've gotten the seed twice. Uh oh. Dang it. Hold on, I wonder if this will work. Up, oh, dang it. I guess if it's two cards touching the card itself, that makes it flip over. Whatever. Anyway, um... Yeah, put that here. As long as we have the seed in the center there, I think we should be good. I don't think we're gonna have a problem. Aha! Oh, I win again! Take that. What, nothing? Jeez. Let's go to hard. Wow, I've been getting so lucky with this. It's like the perfect card for the center. Okay. Well, we can't take that card from the bottom. So let's see, what's good on the left? Hmm. I don't think we've seen this guy yet. We don't really have anything I could can actually take it, so... Best we can do is just try to make sure our cards don't get taken. And right there. Oh. Oh, what's that guy? That guy's weird. I didn't get a good choice of cards this time, looks like. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that is bad. That is bad. They're not winning this one. Look at all those cards. Jeez, we didn't stand a chance at all. Let's try one more time. If we don't get it, then we'll have to come back for it later. Okay, we didn't get the seed, but hopefully. Um. Oh, wait, no. No. We could take this. Aha! Fight worm with worm. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Let's see. Aha! Hopefully, it won't take this one. Come on. Ah, Really? You got Karis. Wonderful. I can't really take that, can I? Guess I can do this, maybe. A bad draw. Not necessarily. Aha! Please let me win this one. Come on. Yeah, nice. Um... Let's take a look at Champion, why not? I doubt we're gonna win, but hey, if we do, then lucky day. 
It's probably not going to end well. Oh! That's bad. Um, let's try that. Most of it is down to luck. Really. No, oh, jeez. That's... Oh. That's not fun. Maybe that there? Ah. Oh. Well, that sure sucks. Won't be winning this one. Yeah, we definitely need to come back with better cards. Wow. I barely accomplished anything there. Yeah, we're gonna need to go back to that one. Yeah, let's look at how many cards we have now. Yeah, we need a lot more. And maybe we'll be able to beat him then. Yep, that triple triad. Except with not nearly as many mechanics. Don't worry, if you want more mechanics, wait until Evil Land 2. That card game. Woo! Really not sure if I want to go over that one that much. Oh, oh, I forgot something. Something important that I need to do. I'm actually going to wait around for another battle real quick. That's the Sacred Grove, but I want to fight in our battle for once. Oh, there's the Atuin. Let's take care of the Zumbas. Ah. As you notice, Karis has a new spell, X-Crystal, or Cross-Crystal, something, I don't know. It's an attacking spell that does about as much damage as Clink does. Which is really good. But of course, the healing is still really important, but at least now she can attack. It's a really nice job. No, we don't need to heal. I have to, I have to go all the way to escape just uh, back out of something. Now we're actually getting a pretty good balanced party. Why did I... I thought it was clean. Whatever. Alright, now let's go to the Secret Grove after half the video's over. Okay, now we got bombs. Yeah. Huh, why is there a thing here? It's probably not important. Oh, a little baby tree. We don't have any Pokemon that no cut. Dang it, what do we do now? Well, hey, a crystal. It looks familiar. Let's, uh, hit it. Or interact with it. What the? Ah! Jesus, Marty! Yeah, this is the mechanic for this area. Get to switch back and forth between the two different time periods. Let's see. Do not burn the small trees. I'd love to burn that small tree, but how do I do it? Hmm. If we destroy the small trees in the past, they won't be here in the future. Huh. And we can't pass through these in the past. So we got a predicament. Oh, what's down here? Oh, oh no, it's this again. It's a whole room of this. It's a huge, deadly maze. See, I, see if I can remember how to how to get through it. Cause I hmm. Also, get rid of the bats as soon as you can. Because if not, they will do everything they can to murder you. That's a dead end. Huh? There we go. No, stop. One wrong move, and it's back to the very beginning. Ah, look at this. Now I can blow up these walls. Yeah! Look at that. Nice, a star. But the real point of this area is to get to the center there. See so if we can get... Ah! See so if we can get there without dying a lot. That's not happening. Bat, no. There we go. Now if we fall in now, it's entirely my fault. Okay. That was close. Jeez. 
take it slow and steady. Slow and steady. And in here we get the bow. There we go. And I'll just fall in. There we go. Yeah, now we have a bow. This is the final item in the 2D section of the game that we're going to get. Yeah, we can't destroy this tree at all in the present. So we got to go to the past. And a thing to keep in mind, you can hit the crystal with any of your items. Just as long as you hit it somehow. I was about to see if you could destroy the uh, one down there, but no. Yeah, being able to hit the crystal with the bomb and arrow is very important for some of the puzzles in this area. Yes, puzzles. This is a rather pretty big area. Ah. Oh, dang it. Go up here, then. Yep. There's one over here, too. Well, here's one example I said of uh, using other items. There we go. First off, we can open this. Kefka's ghost, there we go. Okay. Now let's do that. I didn't actually need to do with the bomb here, but still. Yeah, here we go. That over here. Or actually, wait, no. That was actually a bad idea. Well, not entirely. So we can do this. So, hmm. Well, okay. The thing you can do here, yeah, it's pretty obvious. But now we're sort of trapped, I think. Yeah, I don't know if, hmm. Hold on. Can I? No? No? I think I'm actually trapped. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Did they overlook this? Huh. Well then. I guess don't do that then. Because <laughs> you'll be trapped and have to exit to the title screen because you messed up. So I'll be right back. Because, uh... Huh. Well, zero out of ten. Game ruined. Be right back. Okay, I'm back on the other side of this. Yeah, apparently they did not think that a player would get stuck back there. Because there's really no way to get out. What you're supposed to do... First destroy this rock. But yeah. As you probably guessed, you can light other torches with the fire. Destroy all these bushes. Alright, now we can hit the crystal. Okay. Yeah, no more getting stuck. I actually had to go back and get the bow because it didn't save that. Ah, man. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, star. How are we doing on those? Mm, about halfway there for the stars. Nope, that's not the way to go. Down here, okay. Switching items a lot. Just trying to see where I can actually go. It's not too clear. Hmm. Oh, yep. Destroy all the rocks you can. And when you get to a flame, shoot in every direction you can. You will need to do it to get all the collectibles in this area. Because you can miss something very important by missing one, one flame or one rock or anything like that. Had to backtrack here quite a few times in my various playthroughs. It was not very fun. Another star here, of course. Let's see, um... Alright, there's a crystal there and we can't actually burn that shrub up there. I have to go to the past for the time being. There's a flame there, blocked by a rock, of course. Let's head through here. Ah! Oh, there's a statue. 
light my fire to open the entrance. I also gotta light these two fires to get past that, or to get past the statue, I mean. I'm guessing in that hole lies the amulet we need. Ah! Maybe? No. No, we have to go from this side, silly me. Okay. On this side, we shoot that and lights one of the torches. Now we need to light the other one and we can get through. We'll have to do that next time. Yeah, we got quite a few more puzzles in this area, but after that, we get the part of the amulet and uh, find out where to get the second one. Assuming we get past this area in one part anyway. See you guys next time.